This week on Buy to Build. I'm in Newcastle in New South Wales and I'm on the hunt for a dream house to buy off the plans for our gorgeous couple Aidan and Belinda who are ready to build big for their gorgeous family. I like it. I'm really yeah, excited. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> Just relax. We've got a little bit more to go. With thousands of house styles and land options available, plus two very interesting personalities, how are they going to make the right choice for their dream build? Well, that bit is up to me. The property market in Australia is literally booming at the moment. I mean, you only need to come to places like this to see for yourself that the builders are busy building and tradies are bringing to life the dreams of home buyers. Well, this week we are in Newcastle, New South Wales with our couple Aidan and Belinda. Now, Aidan is an ex NRL player and Belinda is a super mum and a business owner. Now, they are looking to buy off the plan somewhere in the Newcastle, Hunter Valley or Lake Macquarie area. It's my job to find them a dream home. They're cashed up, they've got big dreams, and they're good to go. Well, guys, welcome to the show. How can I help you? What's going on? All right, so for us, we're just sort of thinking um, to get into the market, look for, looking for a new home. What is it you're looking for? What do you need? Is it, are you talking three bedrooms or four bedrooms? Um, we've got two small kids. So we probably want four bedrooms, so we can have friends stay over. Yep. We love to entertain, so a big kitchen, open kitchen is a must for us. So you're entertainers, I get that feeling we from are. you guys. Talk to me about that, what does your dream kitchen look like? Yeah, look, I think the kitchen's probably my department. Um, or like a big open kitchen, probably a big bench. Um, so you can serve, but also you sort of want a lot of it facing where everyone is. I love to have my girlfriends over, so somewhere we can have some wine and cheese and stuff like that. So you are the wine queen in this area. <laughs> the rosé queen. You've got our own rosé brands, which I yes. noticed you haven't brought any today, by the way. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Well, too early to somewhere. start. It's never too early. <laughs> Half an hour. Or Five o'clock somewhere. Especially when you're house hunting. <laughs> so you don't want pokey and no. you don't want dark. Is don't natural dark. light important to you? Very guys? important. Um, I work from home, so I want somewhere that I don't feel like I'm stuck inside all day. <laughs> well guys, we have a massive day ahead. I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be Me good too. fun. So should we drink these coffees, yep. eat our little Easter eggs and yep. hit the road? Let's you know? go. Alrighty, so before I show these two through the first of my three display homes, we need to have a little think about a piece of land for these guys. It's a great chance for us to have a look through some of the most sought after areas in Newcastle. Now they want to be close to trains, they want to be close to freeways and they want a premium feel. So I have come about 35 minutes south of Newcastle to a place called Taralba and a McCloy Group community that's called Billy's Lookout. Billy's Lookout is a new community offering premium land options. It's nestled in and amongst bushland and boasts a lakeside position alongside the glistening Lake Macquarie. This isn't your average development, it's a McCloy community, making it feel like a premium established community with art installations, tree-lined streets and those famous big pelican sculptures. It's hard to explain the feeling that you get when you walk around here actually. It's a bit like a movie. I mean, they've left all these gorgeous old trees here, all these nature corridors. There are kids riding their bikes, families picnicking together, people fishing on the lake at weekends, and all these big, beautiful houses. It all adds up to a really premium feel. In terms of transport, it is close to freeways, so the commute to Newcastle or Sydney is easily accessed. Plus, there are two train stations close by. Now, there are a couple of local shopping centres within five minutes drive and a Stockland, which is just 10 minutes drive. What I absolutely love about this place is its absolute dedication to nature. There are waterways, parklands, all these amazing nature tracks. And for any homeowner, well, this is just an instant healthy lifestyle. Within minutes from Billy's Lookout are a wide selection of schools, so you'll be spoiled for choice when it comes to building the kids' futures. 
land sells pretty quickly around here. I mean, you just need to look around. It's sold, sold, sold. So you are going to need to get in quick. But I can announce that some lots are soon to be released. So the best thing is to bring your family here, let the kids play in the playground, and get a bit of a feel for the area. You can jump onto the website to find out pricing information and to see the master plan. It's all at billyslookout.com.au. And after the break, well, it is time to show our couple to house number one. Well, welcome back to Buy to Build, and it is time for house number one. Very exciting. Yes. First impressions of this beauty. Looks nice. <laughs> Looks nice. Can't wait to see what's yeah. inside. It is the Carrington from Mojo Homes, subtly placed there with a sign. Should we go check it out? Let's Definitely. Do it. Welcome to the Carrington. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. There's a homage to the Hamptons, a bit of country in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, I like the flow here. You know, you can be sitting there. Um, standing there cooking and then the kids can be here or even this back room as well. Which, I can see me sitting here having a wine, watching you cook. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's got a good feel to it, hasn't it? It's got a nice Beautiful. kind of layout, it's light and airy. Well, we'll come back and have a look through the kitchen later. I know you're dying too, but I want to show you um, your master room. I think this is amazing, it's a great space. This space nice. is nice. Yeah, it's um, really well presented, it's massive. Like that's a, a queen bed. Yeah. All this space around you, which is really beautiful. It's huge. Walk-in road behind the bed, which is a, quite a clever design feature. Yeah, Very, that's good keep all the crap back there. <laughs> yeah. Is this you two then, do you reckon? Very much so. Yeah, I think definitely the layout as well with the master bed down this end and you know, all the kids' rooms and things down the other end. I might get you guys to go and have a look at your ensuite, have a look in there and uh, yes. tell me what you think of that. Cool. Oh, yeah, this is nice. nice. The nice two, and big. Two sinks. Yeah. So you can shave in that one. I don't know if there's enough cupboard space for all your stuff. <laughs> um, I like this with the shower and the bath all in the one setting there. Yeah, me too. The window as well. Oh, yeah, this is a good setup here. That's good. Probably need another one of these. Yeah, I need some more space for shoes. And this could be used for whatever you wanted to, really. I, I, I would say home office. It could be a little rumpus room, or it could yeah. be, really, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to, speak to them about reclaiming this and having it as a massive walk-in robe. So oh. you could have your entire area as a walk-in robe. That's what I'm thinking for you. I or like that idea, too. Not making assumptions on that you might have a lot of clothes <laughs> or anything like that, but I'm just saying, you know. I definitely like the layout like the open plan sort of living space and then um, sort of the parents retreat down the other end. I like it, I'm really yeah, excited. I can tell, <laughs> just relax, we've got a little bit more to go. Yeah, I love it, this would be my domain I think. Yeah. Um, we've got obviously big countertop there for entertaining, looks out at everything and then uh, the butler's pantry the butler's as well, pantry. which is a big one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not a massive kitchen in terms of the size of the house, yeah. but it's designed really nicely so that yeah, everything's in I here. Agree. So let's drinking? let's let's recap then. So house number one's got yeah. four bedrooms. We've yeah. got multiple living spaces. They're all tick lists that are on your checkbox. I think we're off to a really, really, really good start. She's very excited. I'm very I, uh... excited. <laughs> two baths. All I want is one bath, and I got two baths. So. I agree with Belle there. It's it's been a good start. This is a good spot. Yeah. Um, if you want to have a look at this house design yourself, Mojo have a really great website. If you jump on there, this is the Carrington. Go to mojohomes.com.au, you'll find all the details there. Well, guys, house number two is next. Are you ready? Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Now, I'm starting to think about a couple of land options with these two. So, I have come about half an hour north of Newcastle to an area called Raymond Terrace. And there's a new community I want to have a look at that's called Potter's Lane. Potter's Lane is close to the M1 freeway. It's flanked by Grahamstown Dam. All this is surrounded by beautiful trees and parklands. Not to mention beaches, which are just 20 minutes north in Port Stephens. Now it is a boutique development, which will eventually be home to about 230 houses. What I love about this area is its proximity to the Hunter Valley wine region. I can see our couple enjoying a local coffee and breakfast in a nearby cafe, then meeting friends at a winery for lunch before making it back to Potter's Lane for a barbecue around the playgrounds just before sundown. I think that's the sort of lifestyle which residents are leading here. I'd like to 
like to add. Now there are schools in the area for the kids as well, plus you're only a short drive from one of the key health facilities. And because Raymond Terrace is actually an old historic established town, you're only moments away from the key amenities. Because this is a boutique community, you'll feel like this is home without all the hustle and bustle of some of those larger developments. So from first home buyers all the way through to huge family forever homes, the lot sizes here are varied enough to suit any particular buyer. Now the developer behind this community is the award-winning the McCloy Group. So you know that the master plan is going to be well considered and have the family at the centerpiece of it all. Now to find out the prices and to get a bit of a feel for the place, it's well worth having a look at their website. It is potters-lane.com. .au. That's Potters Lane with a dash, .com .au. Well, welcome back to Buy to Build. Now, this week we are in a rather gorgeous Newcastle in New South Wales with Belinda and Aidan. This is the Brunello from Beechwood Homes. Now, it's actually single story, but they've created the roof space into a loft. You ready? Let's go. Follow me. So we can go left towards bedrooms, but we'll go right this way because I want to show you guys this. Great choice. Right wow. is a good direction. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. This is beautiful in here. Yeah, so I'm taking yeah. a bit of a punt here. See what I did, a footy term there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm going modern and contemporary for you guys. They've done a contemporary here and it really works. Yeah. The kitchen is gorgeous and we will come back to that in a moment. This house is famous for converting the loft the roof space, unused roof space, to living spaces. And there's a whole grotto up there, like a, a retreat. We're we gonna have a look. Yeah. yeah. Let's follow home. Just a little bar fridge. Oh, and wow. My friends. Yes. So this is a loft. Good. This is cool. How nuts is this? Yeah, this is not what I was expecting to be up here. What do you think? It's gonna be something special. You can see it coming in, you can see the loft upstairs and yeah, yeah, I think this space is awesome. Million opportunities, but this space will grow with you and your family yeah. as you grow. And then through here is a bedroom. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. And there's a walk-in robe and an ensuite oh. here. So, I mean, God, what would you use it for, do you think? You wouldn't waste it on the kids, I don't think. No, that's what I was just thinking too. It's a good parents' retreat, I think. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is good. This is perfect for a little upstairs. Definitely. Bathroom? Okay, now this is stunning. <laughs> this this is what I want as a bedroom. Yeah, this is a master bed. Definitely. Yeah, this so, is us here. Walk in row, but with doors. Oh, no way. Another secret compartment. Wow. Look, yeah. Pretty good. That is cool. And you can just close the door like this and see Hi. it later. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is an ensuite, this one. Yeah. This master bedroom, I can see us in here. His and like, hers. Yeah, his and hers. That's one thing I think I really, really want. Shower, nice big shower too. Because our master bed was so nice, the guests can stay upstairs in the, <laughs> in That's the retreat what I was up there. Thinking. So then you've got what, three rooms here for the kids? Yeah. So you've five bedrooms, three bathrooms. Huge. The one living space, but you've got that option for upstairs as well. Yeah. If you want to have a movie room up there, for example. Yeah, they are two different houses. Yeah. It's like you can almost, you can't even compare them. No, totally different. Oh, but I love it. Mum yeah. over there. Yeah. Aiden in the kitchen. So That's it's it. it's all about it's all about functionality. So wherever you are here, you can see the entire see. living area. Yeah. Um, and stuff can put underneath and away out the back. Open some cupboard doors, turn the taps, have a look through like yep. you would, yep. and start building this picture of whether or not this is going to be a house for you guys. That kitchen was nice. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah I like that kitchen. Oh. The beauty. oh, I still got it. <laughs> still got it. Still got it. Just keep going on your toes. <laughs> Is it on point of where we need to be with you guys, or have I gone way off mark here? No, this is very much on point for me. Yeah, what I think, think it's close. Yeah. It's definitely in the works there. I think, you know, the first one and this one, as we said before, they're completely different homes, but yeah. Yeah. both of them have that appeal. 
18 different facade options, multiple floor plan layout options. Beechwood will work with you to customize this build. It is such an amazing house. I love the loft conversion. You can find out all the options that are available and get a bit of a feel for the house. If you jump onto their new website, it is beechwoodhomes.com.au. If you're looking for land to buy in New South Wales, then this week's one to watch is a brand new community called Hereford Hill in Lochinvar. Situated in the picturesque Hunter Valley region, close to freeways and nestled in amongst nature, this boutique new community will offer premium land options. Now this is dream house and land material with wineries on your doorstep, fresh country air and brilliant links to transport. Stages one to three have sold out in days but new land is coming soon and they are now taking registrations. This is very much an in-demand land release by the McCloy Group due to its location and the lifestyle it offers. The website for pricing is herefordhill.com.au. That's hereford-hill.com.au. I love this area and that's why it's this week's One to Watch. All right, guys, this is it. This is the home stretch now, third and final house of the day. Are you exhausted? Ready for a drink? Oh, me too. We've not <laughs> had one in a few moments, don't worry. Okay, this is the Milan from Coral Homes. It looks a bit small. Don't let the front fool you because actually this is four bedrooms and not two, but three living spaces. Oh, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Knock the socks off. Ready Check it out. Inside. Let's cool. go. What do you think? It's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's yeah. got a good vibe to it, this house, doesn't it? It's nice, a lot bigger than what um, we originally thought. It's yeah. Certainly looking from the front. It's really nice. So what they've done really nicely is create some different zones for you here. So a couple of different living spaces. There's living spaces down there, including an amazing media room. Small which that one. Lots of natural light. It's a real lifestyle house, this. Wait until yeah. you see the master room. This is something that blew me away when I walked here. I was like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. Now have a look. Cool. Yeah, this is a beautiful master bedroom. Yeah. I think. It's good. It's very U2. Very. I think. Sophisticated, cool. Yep. It's beautiful. Little private little balcony outside, which is yeah. unreal. But it's big. It's a real sanctuary down here. It sure is. All right, well, there's a bathroom there. There's some walk in robes. Go and have a wander through. See what you think. Open some cupboard doors. Oh. Here we go. I like the two sinks. Yeah. That's one thing that I didn't know I wanted, but now I want. Big shower. Yeah, this is good. I think maybe a little bit more storage for shoes, but I like that it's sort of tucked away and nice and neat. All right, so this is probably the third spare room. Yep. So there's two others down there. This yep. shares a bathroom here as well with your bath. Ah, the bath. Um, <laughs> it's a great size spare room, so this could be one of your kids or it could yep. be the guest room, I think. Yep. Here's your bath. Oh, there it is. I think, like, it's just important that we have the two different bathrooms so we don't have to share with the kids all the time. Yeah, and it's right next to the guest room too, yeah. so they don't feel like they're encroaching too much. And the toilet is separate, which I really like as well. So this is right at the front of the house. Yes. Two bedrooms and massive storage. So what is your juicy area? I think this is probably where the kids would be. It's a yeah. little bit further from the entertaining. So if we're up a bit later, you know, watching TV or... There's definitely a theme going on here about up later. Entertaining, and you and know. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're at the Party stage house. where we want our sort of, you know, adult time, but it's yeah. nice to be at home. Mm. All right, so this for me is probably oh, one of wow. my favourite rooms in this whole design. I agree with you. This is this is my favourite part and I think I would almost keep it the way it is. Movie nights in here. Yeah, this is where you get comfortable. Yeah, this is a selling point for me, this beautiful room. Yes. I like this, you sort of stand here, you can talk to the kids, talk yep. to any guests that we have. I just love how all this flows in and keeps it all together as like our family area, as our entertaining area. But there are 10 different layout options for this floor plan. Yep. So you can move stuff around, things bigger, things smaller, and alter it. But I quite like this vibe for you because I think the outdoor area, looking back at the kitchen, would fit your lifestyle with kids and your mates yep. and your beers, you know? Yeah, Definitely. it's a bit of a theme for us, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>
So this house is a really great design. It is really flexible if you're a family and a growing family with all those floor plan options available too. You'll definitely find something that suits you with the Milan. It is from Coral Homes. It's well worth having a look online if you'd like to see those floor plan options and get a feel for the house yourself. Just jump on to coralhomes.com.au. And after the break, it is time for these two to make a decision and we'll find out which house they're gonna to buy to build. Welcome back to Buy to Build. This week we have been in a rather gloomy but beautiful Newcastle with our couple Bell and Aidan who have been looking to buy a dream house off the plans and a piece of land. And it's a big day. Are you exhausted? I'm exhausted. Yeah. We started strong today. We showed you through three display homes. Yep. None of them competing against each other, but we're trying to pick one that's perhaps going to be more suitable for you. Well, guys, inside here, I have a draft agreement for each of those three houses, uh, all with the bells and whistles, which yes. you've discussed today. I have no idea, and normally I do, but can you put myself and Australia out of our <laughs> miseries and tell us which one you guys are going to buy to build? I'm on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go with number one. Number one? Yeah. The Carrington? Yes. So over budget. I know. It's very <laughs> typical, isn't it? <laughs> A lavish life. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be eating two minute noodles. <laughs> that will be looking good. So yeah. Very comfortable. In a beautiful doing. kitchen. We'll In a beautiful Instagram, house. Won't it, at least <laughs> yeah. it will. Well, there we go, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on the show. Thank I hope you have an amazing so time in that house. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Now, if you would like to find out the prices of the houses we feature today, you can jump onto our website. It is buytobuild.com.au. And of course, you can always catch up with myself and the show on Instagram and Facebook. Well, that's it, guys. Next week, we're in Brisbane in Queensland. So until then, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>